How to create an auto attendant. To create an auto attendant, go to Call Manager and click on Auto Attendant. First, go to Service Number and click Add to create the auto attendant number. Give the auto attendant a name in the auto attendant name field and a number in the auto attendant service number field. This number is not automatically populated. You need to give it an unused number. You can choose the call barring profile you want it to follow and the direct dial call number if you wish to set a DDI directly to this auto attendant. The outgoing caller ID is the CLI sent on an outbound call. Select the one you wish to send out. Next, set the time zone your auto attendant will follow and choose a transfer type between screen transfer and blind transfer. On a screen transfer, the call is not answered. The call will return to the auto attendant. On a blind transfer, the call won't come back to the auto attendant if not answered. Finally, choose if you're going to be using dial by name. Your auto attendant can be set as dial by name. Dial by name allows external callers and users to search for an extension if they do not know the station number but are aware of the user's name. The external caller will use a dial pad to enter the extension name. For example, the number 2 will be pressed for the letter A and number 9 will be pressed for the letter Z. Extension play will give you the list of extension numbers followed by the extension name. Example, Bob extension number 100. You will then enter the extension number and hashtag to be dialed. Short dial will give the list extensions. Example, 1 John, 2 Josh. You will then enter the number followed by hashtag. You need to add the users that will be available for this search under the member section. Press change to select the desired users. Next, go to Schedule Settings. Here you can set the period of time your auto attendant will be available. You can also use to set different destinations at different times under the same auto attendant. Select the auto attendant number at the top. By default, your auto attendant is available anytime via their basic schedule. For example, you need one destination on Mondays and another destination Tuesday to Friday. Click Add to add a new schedule. Give it a name and select the period of time and dates you wish the scenario to work. Then give this new scenario a name. Do the same with the second scenario. The new scenarios will overwrite the basic schedule. Be careful to not duplicate schedules. You can also enter holiday dates. That on that particular day, a new destination can be routed. Next, go to Scenario Define. Enter the auto attendant number. Under Scenario, you can choose which scenario you'd like to configure. Then press Search. Click on the scenario name with the phone icon. Further settings will show up. Click on Modify. In the Scenario tab, you can give this scenario a name and choose the type. General AA will give you the options to be dialed under dial digits. In here, you can select what happens when the caller dials digits 1 to 0. Select short dial and set the destination that the call will be forwarded. Next on key, set the minimum digits the caller can dial and the maximum. If you do not wish for an external caller to dial extension numbers, set the maximum to 1. Next on options, you will need to enter a no match announcement when the digit entered is not matched. And also, a no input announcement. You also need to set a repeat count of how many times the prompt will be played with no digits entered. If one, the prompt will be only played once. You can set a basic dial destination that the call be forwarded if no digits are entered. The next scenario type is basic dial. The call will reach the auto attendant and after the prompt is played, the call will be forwarded to the basic dial destination set here. The scenario type can be an announcement. The system will play a message and the call will be terminated. Next, a dial by partial name search and dial by full name search. If set to partial name search, the caller does not need to know the full name of the extension. 
being able to search with only two digits or two letters. The caller needs to press hashtag after entering the digits to be prompted for the list. For example, to search for Anna, the caller presses two, six in hashtag and the list will be prompted. If you set to full name search, the caller would need to dial the complete and exact name. The callers can use zero as a space and will need to press hashtag at the end. There is a default message, but you can upload and overwrite that message if you upload a prompt. You also need to enter the repeat count and the no match and the no input announcements. If you have two or more scenarios, you can configure them individually.